Uh, welcome everyone to another EVAC at Adelaide Uni SSBM tournament. This is our first one streamed back in a while. I'm excited to be here and I'm excited to play some games. Musket's getting the tournament started very soon, so stay tuned for our first match. I'm just going to quickly share out the stream business and then we'll be getting some matches on stream. So stick around everyone. Survival! 
Alright everyone, we've got our first match of the day starting. It's McLeod versus Caleb. Now McLeod off some pretty hot online results and some pretty hot online runs. Caleb off of some pretty close local matches himself. So this is actually going to be a clash of the ages here at EVAC, honestly. I'm going to keep it real. This is actually going to be a tight battle. Like, no hyperbole. Caleb, definitely no stranger to Combo Wing Peach, so it's not going to be too hard for him to pull something out of the bag, really, for him. Right, I'm just going to continue sharing the stream as well, guys. Enjoy some games. Welcome. Um, I just checked. Thanks, man. Sorry gang, I keep forgetting that F5 is one of the scenes and I accidentally swapped the transition. Didn't mean that, but it doesn't matter, we're still here. Oh my god, this is brutal. Yeah, I was I had a lot of hope in Caleb at the start of this match, but it's starting to fade away. Oh, yep. Calls out the high recovery, and that's all she wrote for Falcon. That is unfortunately just going to happen if you're Falcon. You're just going to get rocked like that. You're just going to get rocked. There's not much you can do about it. Game two, though, hopefully. Mc Sorry, Caleb isn't too in his own head. Yeah, McLeod looks like he just came down from the mountain. After a year of hibernating. Not not quite a year, maybe, but like a good month of solitude, it seems. Meanwhile, Caleb uh, actually deciding that he doesn't need his corporeal form and is a now actually just a floating head. Um, <laughs> uh, he's, he's just a floating head in, in the background, guys. <laughs> See, I could make like the like darker tones on the webcams really, really black, and then it would really look like he was f like just a floating head in the camera. <laughs> I'm very tempted to try it. See, this is a great first stock from uh, Caleb. If he can just like, you know, minimize his uh, openings like he has been this first stock, it'll be going good. All right, and we got a bracket for you all, guys. I'm going to pop this one in chat for you as well. I keep pressing F5. I'm so sorry. Bad habit. Yeah, sure. All right. So I got a bracket for you guys, too. I'm going to pop this in here for you. Alright, and I gotta go play a match, but you get to enjoy the sultry sounds of musket on the microphone. Hello, hello. What's up? We have a very exciting SE melee tournament, and we're seeing McLeod versus Caleb. 
Caleb's actually been improving over these past months or so. And I mean, obviously, McLeod's had a pretty decent rise improvement, so. Um, McLeod's definitely favored, but it's, it's always possible. Caleb get that sneaky win. Oh, just ditches for the stitch. Um, it's always very scary trying to hit Peach at this percent because um, obviously CC, but also McLeod's been improving like massively with his power shields. So if you do something, an error that's like very obvious, you might just get power shield, uh, down smash or jab. That's it. Some of Falcon's late aerials are very safe, so it's very hard to punish Stace like there, like any. Um, especially because Falcon's probably going to jab right after knee. Like, Falcon can mix up with stuff like, say, knee, like late knee to dash back or whatever, but I feel like Caleb mostly just goes for uh, aerial into jab. Hey, he, he did a um, roll there, so, you know, proving me wrong. Sneaks under the Falcon. Um, yeah, it's looking a little bit dire for Caleb right now. It's, um, <laughs> but he gets the sneaky up air. Can he close out this edge guard? Yeah, I mean, Peach at that height is very easy. You just kind of grab ledge. And if she was a little bit higher, you could just. Falcon can do something like, say, um, back air from ledge and immediately re grab. And that's it. Alright. Um, I believe we'll probably have the versus Brad up next, so I'll just quickly get Brad. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> God, IRL feels good to play on again. It's been s fucking since March. Now we have Brad Muscat. Brad taking a set last one, which was really, really cool to see. Very interested to see how this one goes. Uh, let's update the shenanigans. How do I update this stuff? I forget. Muscat, how do I update the, the all the stuff? I forget. It's been too long. Just update everything. Ah, okay. Cheers. Good luck. We have Brad. <laughs> We have Brad and we have Mosca. Fox, Fox Red, yep. So. Yeah, we have no fresh COVID cases, which is fantastic. <laughs> Very happy about that. That should be it. Ready? It's actually always interesting to watch these two fight. They have such a different style. Especially in Punish. Brad's call outs and like some of his um, movement in neutral is actually really, really, really good. Very interesting. Hi, Jack. Ugh. What's going on? We have Brad Muscat. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty standard. Eight person bracket. We get Brad Muscat round one. Did we get to Oh, eight? no, no, they, this must be round two, so... Brad, yeah, yeah, round two. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Brad beat Liam. Yeah, that sounds yeah. alright. Musket Actually, beat. did... Yeah, did Musket even... Was it a seven-man bracket? I think it was eight. I think he beat Fenno. Let's go Fenno. Oh, Fenno, yeah, yeah. Keeping PM alive. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> do they? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, <l> <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I remember... <laughs> I love how I was just like... <laughs> oh, it should be alive, surely. And then I'm like, should it be? <laughs> <laughs> I was the most depressing moment of my life. Well, I was I was away for like a week. Uh, I had something on the Sunday, uh, the Friday, 
I was working the Friday, so I couldn't do. There was a tournament. And the next yep. tournament, there was um, the next Sunday, there was another tournament, like another melee tournament. I missed out on that because I was away from my dad's 60th. And then I come back, and there's PM on the Friday. <laughs> and I like, i I literally get back, and I can't even play melee because everyone's fucking playing PM. It was the shittest. That yeah, that's an experience. Uh, luckily for you, next Sunday, next melee tournament. Yeah, <laughs> I have my friends away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting very unlucky. Well, that's alright. Yeah. We're back today. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not going to be here for that one either. Oh, I'm supposed to be right. So. Yeah. Here's what it oh, is. Well. Hopefully, Ruben comes back for that one, I heard. I hope some one. people come back for it. It's frustrating having the same eight man bracket every month. Like, Yeah. I was just like, yeah. I just want to see the boys. I really do. It should be interesting too. I feel like everyone in SA is getting better. Like, yeah, like people. I'd be shocked if we weren't with, you know, I think Rune's local a bit rusty, and online. Runen's a bit rusty, but give him two weeks and he'll be back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very standard start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not Musk Moves. unless he's double shining you in the corner. It really isn't. It's such a good anti um, net play strat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we probably should. I don't even. I don't know what his Twitter handle is, but it's definitely not Brad uh, SSBM. Uh, yeah, I think if you put in Scraddles in the first one, oh, it should just, just. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Up. It would be Scraddles, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just forget he has a tag. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, let's grab that. Sorry guys. Right. Let's go Scraddles. <laughs> the shy guys uh, yeah, helped definitely, out. With the definitely. The <laughs> Uh, oh wait, <laughs> that's where he's coming. He definitely did not have enough time to do that second back air without, without the... Well, I think he would have landed first and been able to do something, but at the same time, it's like, definitely not killing him. That was a... Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Really clean. Must get getting full zero to death for crouch cancelling that second up smash. Damn. Oh no, he fails the edge guard too. Brad looking really good. Brad's just hitting like hits. a truck, yeah. yeah. If there, oh, oh, goes for drill oh, and yeah. it works. Wow. Locks out really, because you know he's trying to back it. Like that. <laughs> Kills every time. Oh, good dash out. How did he grab ledge there? What the? I get good wiggle out, I guess. I think he landed, oh, uh, because it's um, Yoshi's. You oh, he slipped, slipped it, yeah. Slipped. yeah. Yoshi's very funny. <laughs> Oh, no, no, Muska Muska looking jump. very iffy. But and Brad. Just, just, uh, just yeah, some good old spaghetti. Some yeah. good old SA spaghetti. The best kind. The best part is knowing they're gonna. If someone's gonna get a grab, it's gonna cause a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's nice seeing at least like proper follow ups off here. So. <laughs> Yeah, like Musket generally pretty good with that sort of thing, but oh, he's dropping stuff now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that was always going to cost him. You, you gotta, you gotta roll he's in there. Company. I guess I guess he was afraid of getting up it, but this is the best of three as well, isn't it? Uh, Winner Sammy's. Yeah, it's Winner Sammy's. Oh, it might be best of five. Yeah. I feel like it's. Do we normally do top three best of three? Oh, I have no. I'm clue. sure Muscat knows. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm sure no, that's Muscat the thing. knows. We'll find out. After, I think wait, it, wait, we got I think it actually is best of five, yeah. Yeah, Brad definitely would have... I can't imagine Brad not striking FD. Well, that's, so, yeah. Ooh, that's not an angle. That was, yeah. That was something. Let's go, Brad. Cool. It's actually really cool to see how much passion Brad plays with the game. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't. He doesn't. He, he shows up to Evex and he doesn't really play outside of that. But he's always really. He always tries really hard and he's always really happy. He's like sick. I think he just uh, enjoys up smashing people too much. Yeah. Is there too much to enjoy up smashing people? Like a little bit, but like you know. <laughs> really test my group. It's real good. Yeah, this is yeah. definitely Muscat's stage to lose. Well, like that's the funny thing is he hasn't. Yeah. Like he hasn't gotten a chain grab. Yeah. Like he's just I think shined just him off the side three times and converted. Which is not the traditional musket wins a game strategy. I think Usually he does this. Yeah, I think it's like I think the stage is like gives him sort of the confidence, like, yeah, I can do it in the stage. That sort of gives him the Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. 
Whereas like he might be like not really thinking about the game at this stage is like, yeah, I'm gonna do it on this stage, I'm gonna chain grab, I know what my game plan is. Sort yeah. of thing. Oh damn. Let's go, Moscow. That was, that was brutal. Mission complete. Yeah, it felt like Brad was just like, oh, all right, let, let me take him to I stadium. I think Yoshi, more. yeah, I think Yoshi's was an at, like really good first pick for Brad, actually. Where's he gonna go, actually? I wonder if he thinks Fountain. Just to get the small stage going again. Battlefield, God, yeah. I, I, I love this commentary on the chat. Oh, it's actually smart. It's just because Brad plays orange. It's Mango. Yeah, he also practices the like Armada <laughs> true shine up smash thing. Maybe it is Battlefield. Up tilt, yeah. not really reacting. Oh, can he get the follow up? No reaction. It's what they're good now. I feel like Brad spent like all of his time in that position since the first game. Yeah. Just kind of off stage, getting like shined and up tilted by Musket. Oh, Musket does not respect the falling out. Oh, uh, don't know if that was reaction. Yeah, no, it was, but. Oh, a little too off. That's the one beautiful thing about playing Fox is if you can react with grab, you can react with up smash. Both yep. frame seven. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they're both frame seven. You just like, oh, I, wait, I could grab them, or they could just die. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, you can tell the tech in place too. Yeah. So, oh, you know, I'm just like. Uh, yeah, that, that's an stuff. important thing for Brad in this set, just like getting off the ledge like that after a brutal, like, last game. Yeah. That's huge. Muscat, like, missing the tech chases, but, like, everything he does to call out what Brad does after he misses the tech chases is gonna happen. Oh Ooh. my god! That changes what a things. hero, dude! Damn! That entire sequence was pretty funny. Love to see. Oh, the cleanest ledge guy. That was a very mango ledge, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just imagine that, that if he had one hundred more percent, and it, it was last stock. Uh, or, what would like if he had somehow traded that and like got the oh, big, and it like popped like, him up, popped him up for like more back air or shine or something. That's what he was doing. Oh, calls out high, really good. Yeah, Brad tries to drift ground and doesn't get it. Yeah, I don't like that angle. I think that angle gets covered by like everything. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a, like going for that angle at 30%, not at 130. Oh, uh, Brad, Brad, you had the world in your hands. And it's gone. It's slipping. All right. Like the sands of time. Mission complete. All right. uh, that is not Brad. That is Moscow. So it is a best of five. Oh, yeah. sick. That means my games with Kai and Moscow. Yeah, will, uh, my games with Kai will be the best of Thing to try. Interesting that he didn't go back to Battlefield. I thought yeah. it was going he was, fine. He was, yeah, no, nah, he, he just killed himself. <laughs> Twice. I wonder if this is just a, like, maybe I need more space so I don't... Yeah. Oh, Brad, geez. you're a... That would have killed on any that, other stage as well. Like... What a minute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, that stock looked like a Tom and Aaron play. <laughs> and then, like, you would just watch him do the bear from last game. I don't even understand. Let's go, Brad. Aww. Well, then, then, this is, just... That's really the story of the set. <laughs> <laughs> Brad just ends up like uh, he's either Somehow messing even. musket up or he's just off stage getting like shined and killing himself at 30. Brad just hits the sick of zero to death and then like 10 seconds later he just kills himself. Alright, what's the edge guard? I love the idea of that forward tilt, but yeah, yeah. Fox is too good for that. He does not care about good little legs. I think if you want to cover ledge though, you just wave this back forward. Yeah, you can just grab Oh, that's you the thing. Done, though. It's like, it, feel, it feels so counterintuitive to cover everything. It does, even though you can just back air or something, yeah. right? But you can still cover everything else from the ledge. I think that, that specific spot was, um, you have to, like, if you, if you read ledge, like, I think it was, if you read, you, you can only cover ledge or high. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, you can still invincible ledge dash. That's yeah. the thing, is like... Like, you're not in a bad position if you go to ledge, unlike Peach. Yeah. Just, like, people just don't grab it, it's like... Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> reading the jump. I would have laughed. That was a uh, little greedy. Oh no, he missed the JCR smash. He spent so Ford long practicing it earlier so as well. Much. I, hear, I just hear the peach sound. Like I'm like, there's no peach here. I'm like, what, what are these peach sounds in the background? I just hear peach screaming. I'm like, is this Brad Pack practicing the uh, peach here? You know? Oh, really, uh, really, really good. Good job, Brad. That's 
well. Yeah, Muskrat's like DI and like buff of dumb, so just not existing. Yeah, that's no DI though. They're just really <laughs> they're, This is not the expect you what you expect from these two is just like two foxes running at each other and pressing buttons and be like, no I'll press two buttons faster. Yeah, it definitely definitely Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> That was such good DI oh, by Musket, but like Brad needed air. to realize and just back air him again. Oh side me! Oh, oh no! And then play special. Brad? Oh. oh not falling for it! Has an edge guard opportunity, goes the mid height yeah. that he's never ever gonna go for. Good angle by Muscat though. That was yeah, like, like a that's definitely a time. like get to the platform, and get out of there. Is that it? Oh, oh Brad Barely. with the mini pop up going to game Barely. five. I'm loving this set. You know the game didn't want to give it to him, but yeah. had to. Yeah, it, it was like, it was like it, it was like three pixels off. That's where V canceling. If only yeah, if he got gotten a V can. Well, he did not B, so. No, that's true. No, my mental can isn't like the L can like when you um, hit L like a few frames. I thought you game. had to be in your like up after the up split for Really? Is that how shit. that works? I thought so, but I thought that's why Armada was doing it because he was you know parasoling yeah. down. Or well, maybe you couldn't be in it or something. Okay. I'm gonna have to look that up later. So I wanna actually add it. Uh, Nick in the chat, if you if you know how yeah. um, <laughs> canceling or beat canceling works. Yeah. By the way, uh, musket going back. Interesting. Uh, I guess yeah. Where would you, if you were musket, what would be the stage? I don't think there really is. Uh, yeah, there isn't really. Because it feels like I don't know. Brad won the small stage and the big stage. Where do you go? Yeah. And you've taken battlefield like. Actually, I would have stadium. Like the space was. I was thinking about stadium, but like yeah, well, this, this, but like this, this has got space, so I don't know what the hell. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a weird set. Yeah. Oh, the musky, musky. Yeah. Oh, the triple shine, and he's gone. Muskat, look. I don't know. Muskat sort of gives you false hope. He's really good at giving you false hope, and then, like four shines come out. He's also really good at giving you false hope that he'd win, and then he just kills himself. <laughs> He definitely gives you false hope that you're gonna get eat dinner at a respectable time. <laughs> yep. Uh, you know, and then, he, get then he's like game ten with Kai, and you're just like, yep. what happened to first set musket? We either get ten games with Kai, or we get another twenty-five minutes of Sam's speech. Yeah. <laughs> and he wins three-one, but it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, yeah, no. right, going too low there. All it's all it takes is one SC and one Bradstock. Oh, yeah. even. This, this could be the breadstock. Muscat really refusing oh, to hold out those that. up smashes. Oh, I'm surprised that that was that was a interesting shine. Pixels. Yeah, I was interested. In why I've was seen Muscat choke these. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be a good night of man. I actually, I forgot how much I hit this over. I missed this over. Yeah, that's gonna do it. That's it. Must get this up to these, yeah. Wow. I guess that's me and Kai now. Yeah, you Kai. Well, I mean, unless. Um, you wanna come, me? Caleb? Oh, okay. okay, fair enough. Caleb just came to watch on the big screen. Du, 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 du. Yep. Uh, Kai is taking a phone call, so uh, yeah. uh, this could take a while. Uh. What the hell is that? Oh, never Ooh. mind. Oh, that was a close set. There was some. Um, I think both of us game one were like very like we were very we just weren't executing anything game one and then like we slowly started I, I mean you're talking about it. he was up through up smashing and I don't know he stopped yeah. doing it at some point and it was just like oh yeah okay mm. so it's a point where I was like mid set I was like calling out his dashbacks with um, running shine and I stopped doing it. I just started doing just a regular <clears throat> yeah I started doing just a regular aerial and getting grabbed but I was like I think I said what are you doing what the hell are you doing and then I just started doing like my very um like <laughs> I started playing the top flat, like trying to like come down just I don't think that's the I don't think that's really what I should be doing, but it's like 
Probably not, but anyway, yeah. it's, cool. it's like very, um, it's safe, you know, you go back to like bad habits or something. Yeah, this one is just the, yeah, there we go. This is a set that I'm actually dying to see. I am so excited to see, because I think it's going to be a really salty. We've got like, like, Kai has obviously always been his level and he's improved a bit over the, you know, he's improved. Yeah. Like, over, and McLeod's risen up quite a bit over these past few months. This should be a really exciting set. I I'm know. not gonna lie, I think McLeod will whoop his ass. Just because he's been playing way too much, and I've seen Kai go way too close with Will D. That's Will D, man. You think. You well, think yeah, that's true. Like, we, we're talking about a man with the perfect down smashes, but like. like you think. Um, you I think mean, he, will D doesn't have those. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the thing, is that's like. The one thing is if that. If Kai gets caught in the scrambles at all, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble really quickly. Yeah, man, McLeod's. Um, he's very fast, and if you start doing really. Like, start doing yeah. predictable aerials, he'll just power shield it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, that's terrifying as a Falco. It is, no, I remember. You don't have any multi hit moves to fall back on when you're approaching, right? You're just gonna get hit. McLeod and I laughed, uh, laughed at this a lot. Um, the first time he showed me a clip of like a random fox in the play box, like doing a dumb knee into the corner and getting power shield down smashed, my reply was like, oh shit, I do that near. <laughs> that, that could be me. <laughs> oh no. Um, Oh, we got Will D. Will <laughs> in chat? Look. The Falco Slayer. He, I'm still very hyped about that um that Phantom set. The Rishi. That oh that's such a good set. That was like my last like pre-COVID nice moment was watching that at the airport with the rest of the SA guys. Um, Just going, how did you choke this game, Will D? And then he wins the set, so it's fine. Yeah, it really was the finale of um, <laughs> yeah. this, this year. <laughs> Free huh? lockdown life. Free lockdown life, yeah. <laughs> was watching Will D on Kai's laptop <laughs> before, <Yeah. laughs> before going back home. Uh, where is Kaiser? He's like, yeah, <clears throat> I think Kai's tech phone call, so. Well, we re he's really just, you know, whizzing him. Uh, is, this, is this Paul's? Uh, Technically, this is top eight. Technically, every game. Well, <laughs> no, it's all know. top eight. Well, no, all okay. the time. Oh, not all. Not every game, but you know. No, we. Oh yeah, we, we only had eight people. Yeah, you're right. What's the <laughs> um, I guess yeah, because they started in like. Really, yeah. Obviously, it's like top eight having like just two more uh, semis. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Usually, you don't go from winners quarters to losers top eight, but you no. know, usually you have more than eight people. All right, we got um. I think perhaps and some. This is. The, I feel like this. Look, I think this is a set McLeod really wants. Like, obviously, you you want to win. It. Yeah, like this is a set that like. Oh yeah, if he loses, it's gonna hurt the prize. Is is. I, th I think there's definitely a part of McLeod that's like, I've leveled up way more than mm -hmm. Kai has. Uh, which one is? I see. Uh, which one? No, but I think we could. Oh yeah, they're doing F1. hammers. They're, they're doing hammers. Yeah, of course, yeah, So we talked a lot about um, McLeod. We haven't talked about Kai so much this play. He's, I think he's always been very solid against me. Regardless of the whole like Will D, like close sets, I think he's always been very solid against I think Peach. Yes, it, it depends Peach to Peach, because I've seen McLeod beat him. Well, McLeod beat him the last time they played, I think. Did they? At the, like, one cheese league where we got like five people, so we just did all um, best of five round robin. I think he 3 0 him at that. Oh, that, yeah, I missed that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, actually, oh, a lot of people missed that one. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, that was the problem. But yeah, I that think was a he, weird, that was, a that weird was one. definitely a weird one. Because, like, Caleb beat him that time as well. Wait, like, not, not we, Kai. Um, no, Kai. I was going to say. Yeah, no, no, no. Caleb beat. Um, it was very. So you had Caleb beat McLeod. And then, yeah, I, I lost to Catherine. So I think, I think Kai still won. Yeah, Kai, I think Catherine uh, dropped a few. I think Catherine won, like, took one more game on Kai. It would have either been a draw, it would have been. Um, yeah, or some sort of weird count back system, but yeah. All right, so, we'll strike him a dreamline. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, Kai likes the space, so, you know. Yeah, he's immediately welcome to McLeod's Power Shield game. Yeah, that's the thing. His Power Shield isn't just for, like, physical hits. He's still very solid at Power Shooting lasers. And, yeah. you know what, when you play net play Falcos, there's a ton of... Yeah. You deal with a ton of lasers. That said, it's up to Kai to show that his lasers are different from net play Falcos. Yeah. Try and stall, but oh, just... how did he do that? Oh, is that it? That's yeah. Ooh. 
That's nuts. I could have paced you to a rally. Somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> you, well, that's you, definitely you one of those ones it. where you just like, I did everything right. He hits him, but it's, it's, the dare zero isn't doing much, so like the peach just immediately nears out after cut, and I think yeah. I tried to like dare and jump away, and just gets clipped by the dare. I have no idea if McCloud was floating at that point. Because if he's floating, he get hit by Ooh, Oh, that's, that's that should be down. Yeah, yeah, but he gets the trade, yeah. By the fire. That's not something that usually happens. So, like, I said he did get the double one side down smash, which came in clutch a little bit. Uh, I mean, he peaches do get clipped by that, but I mean, like, McLeod specifically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just makes McLeod. Yeah. Very solid. Actually, yeah. yeah I forget that Kai's punish game in this matchup is actually really solid. It's n That's not the issue. Is the issue is his defense can be a little iffy, but like it looks on point at the moment. So and he's, he's he's taking his time, and you know what? You really you really should. So, you know, you should just you know get the cloud like a good arm attack. Yeah, it's just the uh, immediate side B beats the tunnel. Oh, I like what he was trying to do. He was like trying to just do an empty land shine and like shine grab, so in case he shows anyway. But it's just that he grabs that tunnel. I don't know what the benefit is there, Falco. He's going to close out the stock, but it's... Yeah. This is where Dreamland feels... Yeah. You know, part of your... You watch Peach slowly come back and you start thinking, man, we could have gone to Fountain. Up for up air. Up for up air. He doesn't... Uh, SDI the lasers. He doesn't DI. <laughs> he just gets... Well, not DI is the like right play if you're planning on SDI and the lasers because they have a huge SDI multiplier. That's, yeah. No, so you can right. fly away. It's just if you didn't either then you just kind yeah, of then, you, then you're just like ah. Oh. Or I guess Falco could just read the like SDI but it didn't look like that was So he was trying beforehand I was trying to get out of the corner because there's like a really weird bear unless that was a bubble. Probably yeah. I mean you don't want to do a like forward facing bear. Yeah yeah towards just, I think that like you can tell McLeod's just Getting a lot of openings that normal features don't. He definitely took that stuff from power shielding and up tilt. Mm. Just like nearing out of it and being like, okay, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, he definitely made the dash out. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, big percent. Okay. Yeah. Glad doing a really good job of floating around the lasers. Yeah. And just somehow getting through that wall. Uh, yeah, you can't really do that against Falco. He just jumps up there and gets you. Yeah, it's real. Like, because it's very tempting just to float up there and put out a dam. Like, most characters can't reach it. But, like, Falco has the height and he also has the disjoint on up there to, like, get around yeah. it and down it. Uh, I think they're to do it, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. I wonder where we're going actually, because I feel like at times Yoshi's is almost a trap against Yeah, Peach. yeah, yeah. It feels like you just kind of get, um... I would have thought Stadium, but I don't know, with Frozen Stadium, how good that is. I don't think it's, um... Don't know. I feel like Kai wants the top platform though, so I'd imagine it'll probably go Yoshi's. Okay, we got going Yoshi's. Okay, I mean, the thing is, like, Peach can box really well on the stage, but like... You can still get a Shino off the top of 40. And yeah, all right. But it's hard, he hasn't really been. No. Oh, that's. Yeah, oh, that's it. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, Cloud does not turn around and grab ledge. Oh, that was a really important update. Ooh, trade. Big deaths. But does the early dare. Ah, oh, McLeod knows. I don't know, Kai knows. Yeah. Like, it's very easy to like, just panic and hold in and try and tech, but like, yeah. you just want to just edge cancel off. Yeah. And you can react to the down throw, so yeah, yeah. there's yeah. no reason not to. As long as you know the options you can get out every time. Ah, uh, he, he did a good job of like, keeping some semblance of center control. He just runs in, like, randomly, and then you move and it gets fair. Oh, okay. Interesting pair, but it works. Yeah, good good just waits for McLeod to come down and 
shocks him. Mm. People forget that Falco can do that. It's just yeah, he still can. It's, also, it's nowhere near as strong as Fox, oh, but, no, like, but it's still if, if the Peaches are one for Toshi and Toshi's. Yeah, like, like Richard, I would have killed Peach at like a hundred. Yeah, like would have killed Peach at the bottom. Mm. Okay. Oh, that was good. Immediately pulls out the shield drop. That was a really good second there. Ah, oh, he just gets flipped by that man though. It's yeah, that is kind of the problem with Yoshi's is sometimes you just want to dash back a little bit more against Peach and there just ain't no more stage to run back to. There isn't. Oh. It doesn't. Yeah. Oh. oh, he got the power shield. He just didn't. No. He's like, he wanted the jab, I guess. Instead of uh, down smash upwards. Like, uh, that always stings where you overextend slightly and Peach just back airs you and you're like, well, where's mine at least? Where's the at least we trade back air? <laughs> no, it what do you mean? It. Yeah, I know. That, that's the big... What do you mean we traded this whole stock and now you just get to win? That said, I have no sympathy for Falco. Like, oh, Falco's yeah. going, why doesn't mine... Why? Why does it... Why don't I get to trade, huh? Ooh, that was... Yeah, Kai knows. A little accidental, like... Oh, that's it. Down Randall thing, and all of a sudden... Oh, back to 54. The thing is, uh, most of Peach's... Well, pretty much all of Peach's stuff is going to knock down, like, relevant Yeah, hits. absolutely. And... <laughs> there's not... It's scary. When you're getting knocked down against Peach, it's actually scary. Especially because Peach oh, has... Yeah. With McLeod's speed pitches. as well, like... <laughs> Because you know you're not just going to get, like, you know, grabbed or something at the end. He's probably going to nail you and you're so far off stage that you're just dead. The Chanet Shield doesn't get... Yeah, oh, this is so scary. Uh, really? That was an interesting jump. Oh, and he loves the... Going for mid-type B. He just didn't need to. McLeod was threatening turn up, though. He was. Like, it makes sense. Alright, he's going back. It makes sense. Yeah. Like, his biggest problem this set's been killing him, so. Going to the stage where he could just kill him at zero. The problem is, uh, oh, it's not as bad for Falco, but um, he's got to deal with if he wins this game to FD games. And McLeod yeah. recently has improved the chain grab. He's also improved his chain grab finishes, working on the uh, weak late dash attack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Late dash attack into now. That should be it, uh, yeah. yeah. Caught him creeping. Uh, okay, no. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I really like that movement from Kai, where he's just like, I know you're going back, I'm just gonna follow you. That's the risky dare, though. He dared and he, like, held down. Like, yeah, yeah. Peach well. there. Peach is... Oh, yeah. He didn't, like... It's definitely a. We've been playing two games now. Yeah. If you haven't gone for this down smash, I'm gonna try to get something out of it. Exactly. Yeah. Right, taking a little second to compose. It's important. It's important against any character, but especially these characters like Peach, where you go for a iffy aerial, you get down smash. Especially as Falco, you get down smash to zero. You take like 40 to a tech chase, maybe. Oh, he just down smashes himself. And uh, yeah, no tech from McLeod. I wonder if that was because Kai had delayed the. Down there, so he was slightly above the stage. Made the tech weird. Maybe. Oh, yeah, that's gonna do it. And I think that sort of edge guard is why people like Will D are pretty good against Sky. Because you, know, you guess right, and he just dies. Yeah. Um, I guess he didn't want to. Guess right eight times. Like, yeah. He was, didn't want to be because he was scared of getting hit out. Well, you still get hit out. Like that's yeah. the thing is, like if Peach reads where you're going, it's not about which option you choose. It's about where you're going. Okay, oh, just jabbing cross, looking like Tekken out there, doing this little like jab one combo across. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of McLeod's been working on all this power shit stuff, and lasers from ledge, still too good. 
It's like half the time if he lays if he bows for the first laser. Oh yeah, you still get hit. <laughs> still get hit by the second one. It just avoids. Um, I'm pretty sure Peach can just like shield in between the lasers. Like, yeah, you just narrow shield. Narrow shield in between the first and second laser, right? Yeah. yeah. Cause I'm pretty sure that's what Sheik does as well. So I'd imagine it works pretty much the same. So it's uh, two frames, two frames slower than Sheik, but, but it's still, it's like, yeah, like the window is so large. Oh, sneaks under and down yeah. smash. Yeah, okay. that's gonna do it. Alright, Kai's on the board. It's, it's good to see. We don't know when we want to see a, a Frio. We wanna see a game five. I'm sure he I'm sure I, I'm sure McLeod doesn't, but we do, as the yeah. commentators. Survival. Yeah, we're going, yeah. 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 Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Maybe we'll... The thing is, Falco does have lasers, but McLeod's power shield game is on point, and it's like. Yeah. I don't even power, like, Peach doesn't even have to power shield. Okay, uh, damn. But can he power shield side B? It's looking like Ultimate Falco right there, just, yeah, just throwing out the side <laughs> B. <laughs> just laser. Definitely the brawl strats, just laser until they get close and then side B through them. Damn, yeah, we go. It really does feel like, at least for this first dot, Kai was playing it sort of like Mark against Peach and everything, whereas like, obviously like, instead of just dash dancing, he was using lasers, but like, staying just outside Peach's range, and then if Peach pulled the turnip going in, and trying to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it seemed to work for a while there, but the crowd just... cleans up. Slowly cleans up. Um, that's the thing, when you play a very slower, like, if you're playing for six minutes and you suddenly, you know, get blown up. Yeah, you up, just get immediately lose the stock, you just feel like garbage, you just like, yeah. I really wasted all my time for that. It takes a lot of willpower to keep him close in that scenario, you can stay, stick to the game plan. Alright, yeah, now McLeod's up power shielding as well, that's good. Mm -hmm. That first stock, I was doing little timing mix-ups to get the lasers going, but... I guess more spacing, like, just trying to do it at hard times to react and at the right time. Mm. He gets grabbed out of dash attack. I mean, like, I think, I guess Kai was expecting McLeod to, like, dash back afterwards, and he said, yeah, see that, but yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. I like dash back into now. It's, uh, that's rough. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. That's rough. Um, Can you DI straight up, or you just get up smash? Um, I don't think you can DI straight up, because I think... Pick it up. Yeah, like I'd imagine you'd have to get up smash or something, otherwise it, you would just do that. Kai getting lucky there, so see what he gets oh, that. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Oh, he almost gets the drag down. Okay, it's not. Yeah, Kai definitely needed that, but yeah, but it's he's still not in a good spot. <laughs> Oh, that was a really, yeah. really good shot. And he clips him with the, just catches him with the up tilt. He's just not, like, he's forcing him to stay grounded because he's just not able to deal with Kai's uh, arrow stuffing him out when he goes airborne. So he's forced to stay grounded. Power these lasers, but yeah, yeah. it's oh, that's yeah, not that's a trade. That's never gonna go well. Go no, Still, this is the percent here. We're like, oh, that's uh, I mean, yeah, it's hard yeah. to react. And if you yeah, notice yeah. in this spot, like, this it's is like, like good luck like, reacting to that trip back as Falco as well. <laughs> But he needs to. Okay, where's out the invincibility? But he's. Oh, this is such a shitty. Oh, interesting DI from McLeod to get back on stage there. Uh, really good dare, actually. He like does the late, uh, early dare, but he just like fades back. Avoids any sort of. I guess Peach could pull it out with the dash attack. It just feels like sooner or later McLeod's gonna get one of these hits. One of these fares will like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. 
Bad DI, but... Oh, he the... gets back. Yeah. Okay. That's gonna do it, yeah. That was a very tense game. Yeah. Guy kept it close. Like, like the cloud looked like he was gonna run away with it a few times, but yeah. I'm gonna make sure that people. I'd imagine are we're losers quarters. Yeah, Brad. Yeah, I mean, there's a getting on stage, so I'd imagine. Actually, I don't know who's Brad's got. We should have a bracket up here. Yeah, I'll losers first. first. So we okay. That hasn't been updated. Fair enough. Yeah. Ah, that, oh, that was game five. Yeah, three yeah. two. Yeah, so Scrattles Caleb then. Yep. Wait, we'll borrow a long way. It's not the. Alright. Yeah, we'll start with Brad Caleb. Nobody wants to play two sets in a row. Like, well, sometimes some people do, but especially after, like, right after the loss. So Brad vs. Caleb is slowly becoming a regular, mainly because <laughs> there's, there's only not eight there's people. Not so like they, they always end up playing. <laughs> Just um, But no, it doesn't save him. Yeah, no, no, each time, each time. You get a new, oh, person, guess, you get yeah. a new person on the couch. You're like, how do you write loser sentence? What's your, like, are you getting a, um, a comma? Oh, oh, man, half the people don't bother putting in fucking what round yeah, it is. Sort of losers. <laughs> <laughs> it just says winners, semis, until, like, losers finals. And then someone's like, oh, yeah, we should probably update that. There was one Sydney one where they put, like, losers. Also, this is bracket. <laughs> also, this is bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Today's Caleb's day. It might. He's, you know, he's a man on a mission, and last set was reasonably close between them. A little bit nervous. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. A little bit nervous when um, playing Caleb. Nobody wants to. Yeah, honestly, Caleb's. You know, he's got that the black. It blends in so well. It's um. I actually don't think it's. It's it looks almost like a dark navy blue. Yeah, it's definitely black, but darker shade it just blue. happens to be the same color black as the black with the sky blue behind it. No. Oh. The, the, oh. That's one thing. Oh, yeah. The one thing he really has is these uh, early uppers. He's been working on them for a while, and it's done to pay dividends. It's good to see. Uh, he's not dead, I think. I mean, he is essentially. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, I, I don't know if you've watched this matchup before. Like, he has to. <laughs> the fox has to do something. The fox has to, like. He's on a different way to Do they just back it or do they grab the ledge? Like, yeah. Like forward smash. At least you force them to do something. You know, it's not like a yeah. position where, like, when the fox starts doing random tech skill, 
pretty <laughs> silly. Because they know that they're dead. It's like, well... That's a big name. You don't want to be copping those if you're Brad. No, this is, um... Yeah, you're, you're really, especially when you're not expecting the DI, and you just, like... Because it catches, if you're catching, it's catching your dash back, then... Then you just dead. The DI is terrible for it. Like, you're not realistically reacting to it. I mean, you can, but you probably aren't. Brad's probably... I'm probably not, either. You'd have to really just anticipate. Like, the thing is, you have to get into your brain that you were wrong for dashing back before you've gotten hit. Yeah. Like, and Falcon just, like, if he, if he doesn't knee, all of a sudden Falcon's just like, why is he, like, you know, jumped in neutral? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap jump. Like, yeah. It definitely has looked like two minutes of Brad nearing Caleb and, like, 10 seconds of Caleb getting two knees and somehow this game's even. Fox hits six nares and then Falcon hits like an up air knee. Everyone's like, oh my god! Falcon! Hi. Yeah, good try. Okay. Really do anything there to Falcon and Brad did something. Yeah. He's, um... Oh. Okay. I... Yeah, Brad's got to stop taking in place. Because whether or not... I don't think Caleb's reading it. I think he's just waiting for the percent where he can get the tech chase afterwards. As, like, the knee just kills you. Yeah. Force him to hit the hard thing. Oh. Man, oh. You got a back air there, Caleb. Like, rocks on the ledge. You know Nun's just, like, falling off back airing that every single time. Oh, okay. Uh, this, is grab, yep. this is some iffy. This is some iffy. You definitely want to guy out. Pretty sure any, any one of those things Caleb could have um, even need or... Research. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think Caleb was waiting for the DI. He's like, I get 3% here. Yeah, why would I not? I, care, so I feel like you want to just... I feel like if, if I'm doing something where the opponent is, like, obviously like, obviously doing the wrong DI, I'm just going to catch out my big punish early. I'm not well, I, think like... he would, I think his mentality was, I'm going to wait till the knee definitely kills, and it's green one. Okay, sure. Like, that said, he went for the grab on the fourth one, so I don't know what percent he expects Nii to kill when he's killed him at like 40 twice. That's very rough. He's not dying the up air, um, up throw properly. He's probably not dying the knee properly. <laughs> well, no, I think the idea is he's just holding up for the knee. He's anticipating yeah. that. He's not, he's not expecting to get chain grabbed when. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right, Brad you, takes game one. You can just hold out for the knee <laughs> to avoid the knee as well. But anyway, pretty sure you can adapt. Not um, guaranteed. I'm pretty sure you can hit the ground beforehand. Oh, it's oh probably. I, I think he. I think what went through Brad's brain, brain was I fucked up the DI. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll hold up to like not so that when I get need it doesn't hurt so bad. But yeah, like definitely might be right. But you know, what? we're in a new game, new mindset, new stocks. Are we uh, who won McFly or <laughs> uh, McLeod? Very good. Me and him in winners finals should be a very fun set. Been, it's been yeah, a yeah. tough tournament. This is a vehicle like it's been um it's been some fighters. You definitely like definitely you play one round and you're like, I'm gonna play them? Oh. <laughs> I'm just happy I won. I was like, yeah, I get to avoid like this whole <laughs> the mess and losers, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't be doing that. It's very easy to get to spawn in this situation. Think that, you know, there's no way you win this game. Might as well go for game three. But what we need to do is just keep a positive mindset and... Remember that you definitely need Brad twice at... Oh, uh, oh. Now is where you get to spawn. Yeah, that, now uh, is where you're like, Now wow. is when you're like, man, am I glad stadium's frozen. Yep. Oh, it's that... Okay, well... well. Yeah. The man, okay. gave, the man I mean, gave you the star. The, yes. man, the man gave you the. <laughs> Caleb, Caleb oh. was so deterred, like focused on Brad Forstocking him that he made sure of it. Uh, uh, no, he goes straight back. Okay. Look, write that off. Write that off. You know. I mean, this is one of battle. Like Battlefield is one of Falcon's best uh, stages in this matchup. Well, yeah, he does, he's not exactly known for dominating the stages. Oh. Oh. I, I was sort of. <laughs> I was oh, talking geez. to Brad about. Oh, he's gonna die, isn't he? Yeah. I was talking to Brad about this uh, last tournament, but like he was doing something similar against Kai, not like quite that low, but like he was like fishing balls. I was like, wow, that's 
honestly, if you look at it, he like, looks really BM. It's like, yeah, no, it's just like, it's more like the up smash. It's like, he's not doing it to BM. Like, no, Brad just, just likes up smashing people. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's one of those moves that gets in people's heads. Like, you get up smashed a bunch, you feel like an idiot. Well, you do that on that Like, way. Shine, you're like, ah, it's, you know, one frame move, that can happen. But you get up smashed three times, it's just like, man, I'm an idiot. I don't goof. I hate foxes who that's bad. To be honest, if it's working, it's like, like if he's doing it in neutral and it's working, like he's called out a really like obvious dash back. Right. Like, I mean, yeah. You, I mean, or like comes out the same move, frame as like up grab. Like it's like to actually like throw it out. Then it's like because it's such a commitment if it misses. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I know Fox against Sheik, like, if I'm against a Sheik and I'm, like, act actively just putting out, um, like, up smash, then... Because, like, if you miss, you just get grabbed and you can get blown off. Like, yeah, yeah. That's it. Sheik has fuck all aerial drift, so if you, like, read the landing, it's like, well, what's she really going to do? Yeah. Like, without a double jump in particular, it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll happen. What we're talking about. But just in neutral, yeah. Just tangent. I mean, there's not much. Look, there's not much. Yeah, that's the end of that. Sometimes you ride off the set. Better luck next time. We've got. Um, yeah. Definitely not the last set they played, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. He'll get him next time. Maybe. Uh, I guess Kyle Lemons. Kyle Lim, yep. Oh. Uh, I'm actually going to warm up for my winner's oh, wow. set. Mm -hmm. I know. I probably. It's Peach, man. <laughs> well, he's warming up. He's warming up. He's got. He's got tech. I got tech. I need tech. Anyway, maybe yeah. next one we get it. Yeah, it might. Yeah. Anyway, and it's at this point that Musket realizes the only peach he, he can warm up against is himself. Oh, I can warm up against level nine. <laughs> level nine CPU. I just have to like. Uh, you, you level ones. You don't want them level nines. That's true. Anyway, well, yeah. I mean, you get used to his power shield game from it. See you stream. Yeah, Kath's not here. God knows where Catherine is, but ain't here. Man, Liam's got the joggy Johnny jug. May have contained juice, judged by the orange cap. Wait, are they just doing that out of habit, or is FD not the counter pick if we're doing Frozen Stadium? Like, it doesn't really matter, but... Yeah. This is one of those matchups where if you haven't played it in a while, you feel it as Fox. Probably the same with Falco, but. I realize he's also just got a Fox bracket and he's got to do something about that if he wants to come back and win. Tournament winners, as you should. He's on the board. And just. Whoa. That was a mean upward shine. Everything about that seems wrong, but. Yeah, Lemons can do what he wants. Uh, that was really good DI as well. Maybe Lemons has been practicing. The first stock looked real rough, but. Yeah. Finish his ups. Next one. 
There's definitely just one of those spots where Kai had been in this situation 10,000 more times on land. And so he's just like, I don't know, you just get shit out of here. He just had no faith in it, it was the problem. Yeah, that comes everything. That was really good FDI from Kai. He does not having that in a second. Right. Kai puts him on stage so he can hit him some more. Stand up Falco stuff, but you gotta do it. Take it Alright. That was a good punch, yeah. I think this is definitely one of those stages where you gotta know your punishes, and feels like Kai knows him a little better than Liam does. Or at the very least, he's got more shines than Liam's gonna grab, that's for sure. Yeah, that's a quick one for Kai. Let's see what that one does. Now. Alright, just goes better. Really. That's probably a smart move. Rolls out of the shine grab, that's good to say. I'm just gonna let Kai have it free. I'm saying all that. After that FD game, I do not feel like he's up to it. That's one of the things with Fox, is like, if you stop moving, sometimes it's real hard to get him moving again. It's not like I sure as all hell isn't going to just give it to you. This is rough. What's that, like eight straight stops to Kai? Yeah, get this one. And why did he near? Still doesn't feel. Alright, there we go. Very over. Just walking into there. 
Good TI for Lawrence to end up back on stage there. It looked like he went slowly off stage to go get him, but yeah, that doesn't kill. Yeah. Right. That's gonna do it. I took it this time. What's up? Kaiser's back on the microphone, everyone. And up next, we have winner's finals between McLeod and Musket. This is going to be one to watch, that's for sure. I honestly think McLeod can take this dub. However, and uh, with, with the reasons I'm about to describe, right? So for starters... Your boy McLeod on a bit of a tear. He's walking up to the stage right now, like the absolute madman. And no contest. Musket's been TOing this tournament, so he might not be as clean on the sticks as McLeod might be right now, who obviously has been in the mountains, it seems. Alright, better warm up for both of these guys before we get into anything. But if you're watching and you haven't followed already, please follow the stream. We do these Smash Tournament streams pretty regularly on this channel, as well as some home FPS and rhythm game content. If you want to watch the VODs for any South Australian Smash content, head over to SA Smash TV on YouTube. All of our VODs and matches will be uploaded there. We have been going through the Ultimate Weekly Back VODs recently, and um, I will be getting up the Ultimate Cheese League VODs as well, uh, the match VODs specifically, soon. And then match VODs for this tournament will also be on there. So follow Catch Warriors SA on Twitter and me on Twitter for when those go up. Until then, everyone, just strap yourselves in for this first match of Winners Finals. We're going to going into Grands. I actually do kind of want to see Musket do pretty well, though. Because if he does well in this match, I would be very, very happy to fight him in Grands if I make it through my cloud. We're going into it, though, game one. Here we go. And it's Dreamland as well, which is pretty cool. 
if you ask me. I think usually you, you probably actually want to take the Peach to uh, to Dreamland here, just because um, I would rather have the mo the room to move around her uh, her like obnoxious hitboxes than be stuck on a stage that you know doesn't give me that freedom. But that's all right. Must get out the gate looking pretty strong. He's just cool. Kept him clowned in this corner and hasn't let him breathe. He's gonna take the first stock and 49 on that first one is not too bad, I'll be honest. He's playing this pretty, pretty well. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I think uh, Musket is doing well enough to take this. He goes high. A cloud with the coverage. He had a chance to finish his edge card, but now it's going for a bit too long. Musket goes low this time. He's going to get one more chance to make it back. Oh! He's been given a gift, but McCloud is too good on these edge guards, actually. One of McCloud's defining traits as a player is his ability to actually finish up those edge guards. Get lemons on the mic. Oh, I could. Send him a message. Oh, that didn't kill. That was close, though. Ah, damn, just a bit of floods by both players there. We saw McLeod go for a tech trap. Sorry, uh, the tech chase at the corner. Uh, but neither of these guys really got anything out of uh, each other's actions there. Oh, this is looking like it's going to be a stock with that drill up smash, wave shine up smash. Yeah, I think, uh, nah, Lemons is going off to play some Marvel vs. Capcom. I am not going to see him on the commentary desk for a while, dude. I am so sorry. It's alright though. It's alright. We're just chilling. Just have, happy to have everyone here. <gasps> that's gonna be the stock though. Oh, that's probably like the quickest, like the lowest percent kill of uh, this entire set so far. Very good stuff from Musket on that one, I'll be honest. I'm gonna keep it real. Musket looking kinda nice. Oh! got the combos, but the down smash is going to easily interrupt that. McLeod had a chance to even it there, but get up attack is going to get him off. Nice! Power shields! McLeod's got those power shields on some fucking lock right now. Yeah, must be playing good. <laughs> Reminds me of the good times when Musket would play well. Oh no, McLeod relinquishing that first game by falling off a stage with an aerial. It's alright though, he's got the FD counter pick to go through. Musket no stranger to this stage, but this is obviously in Peach's favour. If, if, you're, if you're putting a number on it, you know, like... Uh, good tech chase there from McLeod. He's still getting a lot of damage even though he didn't get the chain grab, but uh, now... Musket's answering back. The way McLeod uses these down smashes is really, really strong against uh, the space animals because he always like just sits in one place and just times the down smash at the right time so that like you just run into it. <laughs> Why is he not Peach today? Um, good question, honestly. But to be honest, I don't think there's anything to be gained for Musket to, if uh, if he switched. On pe to Peach on this stage, just for this stage, you know, like, I don't know. That said, I have never seen these two play a Peach Ditto. Um, whether or not I want to, different story. That would be cool, anyway. Oh, nice recovery! He could gain a win. He could also gain a win from playing Fox. I, I don't see any reason for Musket not to just ride out the Fox, in my opinion. Ah, uh, he messes up at the last moment there. See, playing on console is super weird, lads. Like, it it doesn't predict your inputs, you know. <laughs> like, there's no there's no like uh, there's no prediction to anything, so it's like it just feels like raw. It just feels raw, you know, raw. Hello, and dinosaur. I love you, and dinosaur. That killed it. What? Seventy nine? 
how, hang on, how much damage does up smash do? Like 17 or 14? Someone help me out here. But that was like an 80% up smash kill on Peach. Chain grab. Coming out the decks. McLeod still hasn't really found his footing on his counter pick yet. He's not found a really good chain grab into death. And Musket starting to run away a little bit more, but a little bit of flubs at the edge is going to take it. Oh, both these guys just like... I mean, I was going to say not respecting inv Invuln, like invincibility there, but you know, where does Peach go against an invincible fox on this stage? You just have to float up in the air and then just mitigate your damage, really. Musket's playing so well right now. These full hops into really late aerials, just keeping the cloud guessing. Oh my god, the pickup with the soft nair too? Like, I'm sure that's like a Sakurai angle pickup. Surely, right? Oh, he's making it back. Nice! That was really nice. I'll keep it real. Musket's got a million chances to close this one out right now, and McLeod can only really take one hit before it's all over. Ah, uh, he did so much to avoid him, but it still wasn't enough. Musket with a 2-0 on, 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 uh, on McLeod right now. He's looking strong. Musket just delivering the goods. Yeah, what can I say? He's just playing well. Here we go. Finally got the chain grab. Finally something started for McLeod. He knew that he could trust himself to ride out this counter pick one more time. And there we go, first up, finally, in McLeod's core. Yeah, McLeod's no fab. <laughs> Can neither confirm nor deny these claims, but if I were to, you know, be a betting man, I would say McLeod's no fab. He's motivated in life. Oh, here we go. Any damage coming out? I like what I'm seeing. And a good uh, tech chase setup there from from McLeod as well. This should spell the end of the stock for the musket though. Oh my god, just insane recovery. He's gonna make this stock last a little longer. He's on stage now. But he has to mix him up one more time and Fox again just so privileged. Oh, McLeod was stuck in the Fox pressure just pretty hard then. Didn't know if he could make it out there, but he uh, does that unfortunately give away this stuff. Very unfortunate. Yeah, he's just not closing it out. No back airs, no nares. Just insane DI from Musket too. <laughs> That's a funny observation, guys. But uh, I'm going to reveal some movie magic for you. The key light is on, on the left side of these guys, so that it's going to cast more of a shadow on the right side of their arms. So it just looks like McLeod has a huge gamer arm. Whereas uh, Musket looks like he has the opposite. He has the, the left arm gains because he's been playing so much melee. <laughs> so it just looks like McLeod's got a massive right arm, like massive right bicep. And also because his shirt is like slightly higher up on that side. Whereas Musket, even shirt sleeves and the left arm's like... The left arm on Musket is, uh, like, the forearm? It's looking strong, like... He could probably, like, slam my face into the ground pretty hard with that. Another chain grab from Connor. Closes it out, finally, on this two-stock shit. Just good to see him, like, actually get something started here. Ah, but that's gonna do it. 3-0 to Musket. God damn. God damn.
Just some clean confirms on Musket. I'm going to take it. Uh, up next, though, is Loser Semis, which is uh, me and Bradley. Scrattles. Um, so we're going to get some Fox Falco action on screen for you guys. Going to be Seiko. Saw both these guys climbing today. Are we all just on bouldering right now? Are we all just like... Are we all just rock climbing? Uh, Scrattles, that's what I want. There we go. Alright, wish me luck, fellas. Hello, hello. Very, um... No, like, it was... Uh, Frio, but it was... I mean, the cliche, Frio, but close, but... All those games were very close. Very, um... I'm excited to see... Who I play in um, Grands. I've got that, you know. It's very, very nice, very comfortable once you, like, win that winner's finals. You're just like, okay, I get to watch a little bit of melee now. I get to, like, I don't have to play that lower bracket. And there's some tough people. So I got a free two set against Brad. Uh, my set's against Kai always close. So I'm very happy to avoid that. Get a, um, a set up in Grand. So... Yeah, we were both climbing today. Uh, Cloud's, a, you know, a little bit better than his. Um, I've been really enjoying bouldering, actually, um, these past two or so months. Um, yeah, it's a work in progress, but it's really good getting some, like, some level of fitness, and it works so many muscles, so... Anyway, that's not bad. What we've got right now, we've got Brad and Kai. This, um, they've had some weird sets. Like, last tournament, um, in winners' finals, Kai kind of washed Brad, and then in... Loses, not winners finals, in uh, winners semis. Yeah, in, point of, in, in winners, um, Kai washed Brad a bit, and then it was the reverse in losers. So we're gonna see which how they're both playing. Okay, it should be um, hopefully it's a close set this time because last two times they haven't really been close in either direction. Um, Brad improving um, somehow. I still don't know. Every like tournament just gets better, and I'm like, he's not playing. He's just, Maybe he is, but he's, I think he's playing against like friendlies and all that, but like he's not actively practicing, but he's still getting some level of proof, so hey, what works for him? Um, I don't think I've ever seen, I don't think he's touched that play at all, which, you know, is probably for the best, for a mental point of view. Um, at least the unranked views. Like playing against actual, just like utilizing the new netplay uh, framework to play like people that you know is great. Sometimes you know you can hit unranked and it's uh, it's a little bit of a dumpster fire. I always I still do it. I like I like hitting um, the cues and seeing who I run into. You never know who you're gonna run into. Maybe a new person and a little bit of gambling aspect of it. Um, who knows? You might run, run into you know treat it like a gacha game almost. You might run into a one star Falco, but you know you might run into that five star Falcon you've been looking for. Um, who do you think's gonna win this, Jack? I don't know. Don't know. Well, okay. Let's see I mean, Brad beat him pretty bad last time. Yeah, but the same thing happened also, in winners. Well, shouldn't FD be the counter pick? That's not what we're doing. We like. I asked um, oh, was it last cheese league when we first did this set? Like, when we first did this like real set. Um, I was like, do we like change it to like FD being the counter pick? And I was like, uh, no. So I mean. Ah, oh, we should change. Uh, it's definitely not the most... It's definitely the least neutral stage. Hey, I'm... Look, as someone who loves FD and benefits from FD quite a bit, I'm still fine with, like, it being a counter pick. I mean, I get Sadie. Also, well, probably benefits Fox, actually. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, no FD against Moth is a... Um, yeah, a like... One. Well, you know, we don't do these rule sets based... I mean, we should be doing it just because I'm pretty sure it's, like, standard when you run for the stadium. Yeah, like... It's, <laughs> like, the most neutral stage in every game it's in, like... Oh. That's right, we're not here to talk about politics. We're here to talk yeah. about this wonderful set we've got right now. And yeah, Brad's we're not a little here bit. to talk about politics. So, uh, the election! You know, yeah. <laughs> Four more years. No, no, please, no. Please, no. <laughs> no. God. Right. We'll be here when the rioting begins, anyway. 
<laughs> well, that kills. God yeah. damn. I guess he did shine him pretty high up. But I was like, ah, oh, Brad's at like 100. He'll be fine. So that's He's not, not fine. Actually, I lose like one in every three sets. The like last dock I lose against Kai. The last dock against Kai is always that combo. It's always on Yoshi's. I'm just like, lose. Like, shouldn't have DI'd to the platform. Shouldn't have DI'd to. No. No. Oh, they're both just. Oh, I love up throw nothing. Oh, that's a bad from Brad. Gets out of it to just be right back in it. Yeah, he gets back. Oh. Did he give a dash back there or just not suck? I don't think so. I think. Oh, he tried to go for the slide angle. We assume we're going to give him back. We assume I mean, he's not just going straight up. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> like, um, he went for the slide angle, just didn't get it. That can be tough. Unless you have a motion control. Or not, do we know? When? Oh, that would have worked there. He was just a little bit early. I mean, like, would he have. Hmm? I guess yeah, oh, it yeah, wasn't no. a good enough ledge dash, was it? There was uh, a bit of gap. It might have been, actually. Yeah. It, it might have been good enough. I mean, it's, it's Foxy, it's Beasties. You have to be 16 frames late. 16 is a lot of frames to be late. Like, it's not just a, it's not just like basic. It's like yeah, little right. things like um, dropping down from one. Which point is though, it's like it's you have to really mess up to not be able to at least get a frame. Stop, yeah. yeah. You just need shield. You don't need a lot. You just need shield. We're not trying to do a nair out of there. Actually, you literally only need one frame. Yeah, you only need yeah. yeah. So. Shield's frame two. Yeah. All right, good slide up from Brad. Wait, shield's frame two. You say for a shield frame two? I thought, I thought so. I'm pretty sure it's frame one. <laughs> like 99% sure it's. Uh, I thought it was. Frame um, one. It's frame one, but it's not big until like. Oh, maybe that, that might be the end. Yeah, yeah like, like it's not really doing anything until frame two. Okay, or three. Yeah. Well, Nick's saying it's frame one, and yeah. anyone else? Yeah, I oh, yeah, like can. it's definitely frame one, but like. I was gonna say, because like that's definitely. Uh, I definitely yeah. use shield for like a lot of 20. Like, just to test out like. Play like buffering one shield to like yeah. test out. Yeah. Anyway, while we're going on that little tangent. Is it big frame one, Nick? What the hell? Why did. I thought that's. Oh, I thought oh that's, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, I thought cheers, that swapped Nick. over. I just realized we've been using the um wrong. I thought I hit save, but I didn't. Oh, the one game. Um, that was messed up. It's alright. Yeah, if you look at the like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Because yeah, if you look at the frame one shield, it looks tiny, but apparently. The game lies, so. Come on, you know. That's so good. FD, the classic. I mean, this didn't go that well for Lemons, so. I didn't watch this at all. I assumed he, like. Well, game one was close. Like, Lemons was, like, kind of half stock. Like, Kai took the first stock and a half, and you're like, ah, oh, this is going to be one of those sets. And then, you know, Lemons was taking the stocks, and then they went to FD, and Lemons stopped moving. Mm. He, he was just dead after that. Yeah. It's demoralizing. Yeah. It's demoralizing when you start getting hit by Falco. <laughs> Falco everything. We <laughs> Or roll in shine. Gotcha. Classic maneuver. Ah, good SEO. People forget how good roll in is until someone does it to you when you're not expecting it. You're just like, how is I supposed to react to that? I guess, yeah, I think the idea is that you don't do moves that, like, will, you know. Like, I know for myself, um, roll in feels really broken when I'm doing, like, a terrible nair into the corner. I'm like, how is it? Oh, uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. But like, you yeah, do, yeah, you can do many things to like. Yeah, it's more the fact that like, yeah, it's just yeah, like, it, it can it can definitely be used. It can definitely catch out. You just have the mindset, well, it's raw. It's like terrible. There's like definitely times to use it. Also, oh, that always sucks. Yeah, you, like hit the SDI and then just forget to get the. Brad got very. <laughs> this entire. I mean, that was very lucky. He went for the um up tilt at two lower percent, basically forced the tech chase situation. He could have regret. Yeah. You don't want to up tilt that percent. But because, like, I yeah, if you get up. the like regrab, uh, like the up smash afterwards, it's not really a yeah. loss. Like it's bad, but like it's not a guaranteed zero death. So like, Brad got what 88 for it. off of like messing it up. Like you got to be happy with that. So yeah, that's, but he that's, that's the whole reason you counterpick this stage. My point right? is though, like he got he got the um 88 because Kai messed up though. If Kai hit the tech, it would have been like yes, you could have tech chased, but I think Brad hit the tech chase. <laughs> I think he's covering tech in place or miss tech, and then he's. Hey, that's um, half the option plan. Really. 
Oh, good uh, angle. Uh, I don't know if you've watched Caleb recently, but he doesn't tend to cover the other ones. Really? No, he, he tries to react. Yeah, he, he oh, yeah, knees yeah, in true. place every single time. Well, it makes sense, but. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, yeah. He like got that shine, then he like. Oh, oh. oh no. He got the shine, then he, was, he jumped out of the shine, and he was like, oh crap, I'm above like, this Falco. And if I'm gonna hit a shield, I'm gonna get shined out of shield. So he like veered back to stage to. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Kai getting out of you to drink water. Well, you know, it's um. Why? Sometimes you just don't want to be seen drinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I remember all those like deep springs. I'm pretty sure there's like dozens, hundreds oh, of yeah, like up to crystal ones. springs now. Up to crystal. I've been in water for years, years and years. Um, no, I always take a sip, of, like just take a drink uh, in between each game. Even if I'm like in a perfectly good headspace, it's still like you know, take a drink, reset. Uh, what do you think of this counter pick? This well, as a counter pick, like we always, I always try to do it. Um, I'm beginning. To I mean, think I do as might, well. That's why I'm yeah, curious. I'm beginning to think it might not be. I think it is. Like it basically depends on like, how much the uh, fox is willing to use the top light because it's a really strong. Box. Like you can, um, you kind of full top, and then like if you're in an unfavorable position, you feel you can just retreat and like wave line the top light yeah, yeah, yeah. and reset. Um, I don't think Brad's going to be doing too much of that. No, that's the thing. I think it's a great uh, pick against Brad. Then again, then again, he did live to 140, so, you know. Man, everyone's getting good. Everyone's getting, like, there's so many people who are getting, like, improved. Just, like, see? Brad and Club. It's, like, there's... It's really good to just, like, shaking up that whole, um, tournament structure. I mean, it would if we had more than eight people. <laughs> you know, if look, they look, weren't look, all playing each other anyway. Look, look eight people without dice. We'll get, you know, <laughs> one day we'll get a tournament where both dice, um, as well as, um, say everyone else. Yeah, we call big game. cheese and we'll get 40 people. <laughs> 40, no. <laughs> we didn't say this. <laughs> but the big thing is, like, there was a period where I was just like, say when Nick wasn't here, every top three was like, me, Kai, Ruben. Yeah. <laughs> Every yeah, time yeah. about like if it wasn't, it was like see Milo getting an upset or something, or like uh, you have to go that far back as well. Yeah, that's kind of it. Oh, double tech. We're definitely at the point where everyone's ready for one up to tech. Yep. And it's just like the second and third ones, they'll get you. It was like dash hack. Um, it's a very risky dash hack because if he, oh yeah, he's really good at just pulling out. Like, what's well, like risk, up. right? Like, particularly if you shine and then wait for the like thing. It's like you could side be after him. Like, it's hard for Falco to get a big reversal off it. Yeah. That hit. That shine hit. I'm pretty sure it hit me. Wait. Yeah. I don't know. I'm. Uh, shine is huge. I know it's big, but like, Brad's been using Brad's ground game has actually been like he's been dashing back, and, but he's also oh. been calling out um, guys moving backwards with running shots. Oh, I like that. Yeah, actually. I actually do. Oh wait. Uh... Uh, okay, yeah, Brad going for tech. Mm. Does not get it. <laughs> we're two on up. I wonder where we're going. Um, we're past the like. I guess Yoshi's. I feel like Yoshi's is the Yoshi's item. Oh, going back, yeah. It's if, about if, back. You're, if you're close, if it was close, like you feel like you had better of him in the I second mean, half. Of that if game. he's not using the top platform, why would he not go um, stadium instead? Stadium's awkward at uh, times. If like if Falco like sits under side plat um, and starts lasering, can't like, you do that here? Yeah, but side plats are like a lot. Um, oh yeah, I guess. And you have like top plat to retreat to, so you can mix up more. Was, um, I don't know, He's not doing that. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, I guess. No. It's like, I completely understand. For you, it's not a good move, but for Brad, it's just like, bro, he's on the top platform when he's coming down from the angel platform. That said, he does have a read on like Kai's drift off stage. So, yeah. it's. 
obviously it's far too um, early to call, but like, I wonder where Kai will go if, if uh, Brad wins. I think we'll I DR. I guess Battlefield probably. Battlefield apart. But did they have Battlefield yet? I assumed that was game one for some reason. They might, might have been actually. Oh, I really like the idea though. That could have didn't work out, but gets the tech chase up to back here. Ooh, yeah, he's blowing this Falco off. He's like, he, I, I mean, like, that's, that's what you're supposed to do, right? Like, yeah. Well, you didn't do anything really fancy there. You got two up smashes, hit a tech chase, like the big covered he, the double jump with a back air and back air him again. The big thing is he executed it all like reasonably well. He didn't get like get um, reversed on. That's so yeah. big against like the Fox against Falco because it feels like a lot of the times. Um, <laughs> like half of Falco's punishes are based off like oh yeah, spot dot shine and all yeah. that. The box like just overextending, maybe like, pressing up. I love that forward tilt, by the way. That's so good. I wonder if it was intentional though. <laughs> yeah, but in that well, spot, it might have been, it it might, it might been super mattered. Yeah, well, I, I think that also works. I think the forward tilt just way safer and covers the same thing. Got a clean stock lead, but that's uh, they can be they're mine. If you're getting he's just he's reading his second places, either that or he's just like, Well, the thing is, if you come in second place against Falco and Falco is in second place, like the punish ends, but you're not getting shined, yeah, exactly. You know, like because that's half the thing is getting like reaction, you know, like second place shine, and all of a sudden you cop 54. It's like Worst case scenario for Fox, if you're covering it every time, it's like, oh, yeah, I didn't get anything. That was a day. Uh, that was an interesting bait, I guess. Uh, oh, under Nair. I've been using a lot more Nair. Like, some good, some bad. Search guarding. Like, he's obviously trying to hit the ginger, like, Clean beats the upbeat. Going yeah, back to like. So there's been a few odd ones where I'm just like, ah, oh, oh, that. Cut. Brad's That's not a good spot. To be in. himself in a terrible position, and now it's very easy for the fox to like get in the mindset of, I got a bet. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, this These past two stocks, Brad has not had any confidence in his ledge dashes. He's just not going for them. And it's, it's not something. the worst thing, but like... Oh, it's, 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 it's pretty I, I, bad. I'd say he's... The bigger concern is he's just panic optioning up. He's a... Like... Yeah. Like, the fact that he didn't ledge dash wasn't the problem. The fact that he was just, like, spamming side B and up B. Um, just like, kind of, I want to get back, I want to get back. Yes. A little bit of trixies, but it will have. I yeah. I know myself. Um, there's yeah. definitely been games where I've just like I need to get back to center. Uh, we've got. I think. We imitate the plan to for the charges. All right, we've got the rematch. The McLeod. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. MC. Update from Kai. He has to use the toilet. Repeat. Has to use the toilet. Where is McLeod? He's thinking. Yeah. I think he's thinking, how do I near Falco more? <laughs> he's nearing me. Why can't I near? How do I near him? <laughs> oh, do we go offline? No. No. That's connecting the chat. Uh, that'll happen. All right, yep. Should... Oh, yeah, reconnecting. Mm -hmm. Ah. Well, um, but still, yeah. <laughs> remember that one tournament? Yeah, well, remember that one tournament when um, it went offline for no, it, I think it went offline now. Actually, one of the buttons got hit that didn't record the stuff, so we just lost oh, all okay. the buttons. <laughs> but like, that, oh, wait, no, no, I'm, I'm dumb. No, it wasn't. No, we didn't lose the bots. We lost the commentary for the. Oh, the okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I remember Kai being like, "The light's not on." I'm like, "I'm sorry, man. I didn't know which." Light. I think it was me. It was like. Uh, I think it was Caleb and Catherine on commentary or something. Yeah, it's, the light's not on. Uh, oh, it's still can... reconnecting. I'm not a fan of this. Yeah, we'll get um. Where Kai when he comes back? One hell of a loser's final commentary. Mm -hmm. At the very least, oh, right. do the minimum effort. Yeah, yeah. Uh. 
I wonder why that is, actually. Oh, we have no Oh, that's the hell. Let's just try the other one. We should probably try the 5 gigahertz one again, just anyway, just right Yeah, yeah. Because I feel... I have no idea if they, we need that for... I don't think we do, but it's oh, better, it's and therefore... Yeah. Alright. Alright. Oh, we did it! We're back! We didn't even need... I'm, I'm we, the best. How many so good at lose? streaming. Oh, okay. Well, you lost dumb. All of them. Oh, <laughs> 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 I was like... Uh, <laughs> like, Tom, it's over. Brad lost. <laughs> yeah. Everyone go home. <laughs> it cuts off the stream. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, that's... Ah, uh, well. It's alright, we'll, we'll... Nick will be back. He'll be back to cheer his boy. And the lemons is out. Oh, we must fly. We must fly. <laughs> well, that was Ruben calling him that. So anyway, to the people watching this pod, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not, oh, oh yeah, no, they're going straight in. Surely not. Well, I guess they are. They are. Oh, damn. All right. Sure. Uh, uh, Hamill was against Peach. That is. I guess he's already he's played. But yeah, I, I was about to say he's definitely just played. I, I just treat it. I didn't even treat it like Hamill. I just treat it to um, well, Tech. Make sure that like that set up. Yes, it's live. We're, we're, yeah, we're definitely we're definitely live. Yeah. <laughs> Without Nick, how would we know? If we're live, where are the viewers? <laughs> oh, that's an unfortunate disconnect by the uni. It's so silly as well. Oh. Alright, Kai wasn't doing that in the first set. It wasn't, like, aiming specifically at where he was. Doing that. was. <laughs> it was doing that. Yeah. No, oh, it's, it's, it's hard. It's like, you try to get, you want to get the... Very just be frame perfect. I mean. Oh, no. oh yeah, also fair warning. Uh, game two on the like, game two, if it's like well like if it's like looks if it's the last game, you know what I mean? It could be oh, the last yeah. game. I'm different to like warm up a little bit. What about the 30 seconds, man? About the 30 I take that 30 seconds as well. I love my little warm-ups when it's like a close set. Well, like, there's been times in the past where it's Ruben or uh, Ruben and Kai playing each other. I'm warming up Peach, and then I look over and it's like Kai's coming back. And I'm like, all right, time to warm up Fox, I guess. Uh, one day you'll learn it's all about the heat of your control stick anyway. You'll just be spoiling it on commentary. <laughs> Kai will come up to you, what's that grinding sound that <laughs> loses fun? Oh. They're like, haha. The thing is, nowadays I just play Fox and Bugs, so it's like. I still like to try to skin character. Well, it's a character. Yeah, it's not important. What's important is that um, the clouds and the monkeys win this one pretty comfortably. Um, yeah, you have to think it's pretty difficult for damn near any Falco to go untouched two stops in a row on Dreamland against Paige. Man, is Kai trying one laser at a time, though? He's can Oh, I love the jab in my bed. I remember Dare was the only one. No, surely he would have been able to hit with like nails. Ah, uh, would Nair be killed? Maybe not 100%. Maybe what not, but right? you get the laser damage and the mental, like. Ah, uh, that was really good. That's some sort of Tita thingy. Yeah. You can, there's some, like, Tita tech with Peach, but, like. Was that what that was? I don't think so, right? Okay, yeah. Because right? like, she made the sound, I was like, ah. What do you mean? Actually, no, what do you. I have no idea if he was able to, like, cancel the Tita, like. Ready? Press jump and cancel for Tita. No. Like basically, while he's in Tita animation, jump wouldn't come out. And like, why? Oh, because okay, if he's doing yeah. That, he might have actually done that because then if he's doing, it, I actually have no idea if that's the thing. But if it is a thing, then he can just dash off stage and immediately buff float. Yeah, yeah. He's holding um Y. And then Let's say, don't you have to like, um, oh, you'd have to hit run from there. Alright, right. yeah, yeah. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. That might be. That might have been it. No, surely if you got the Tita. Like, if you teeter, you can jump. Yeah, so this is where we need so. Nick in chat. Yeah. But he, he didn't jump, that's the thing. Oh, we can go up to Banaskin right now. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. He's, like, down game to my people. Uh, was that a, was, <laughs> can, you, can you jump out of teeter? I know you're in a busy set, but, like, come on, man. Don't think about yourself. Think about the improvement of this commentary. Think about yeah. the VOD viewers. <laughs> the VOD experience. 
What do you mean? What about the regular rares? Oh, don't worry about those. <laughs> <laughs> now we got one. Got one back from the um, from the disconnect. Yeah. I'm surprised that doesn't happen more often. Like the amount of times I've been at uni and just been like, why is this page not loaded? I refreshed. Like I opened this tab a minute ago. And just can't figure it out. Kai power shielding back. Oh, that bear was actually really good because Nair was the only thing that was going to hit. That would Nair not have hit? I guess. I don't think so. Nair yeah, would have been like horrible. Bordes slightly further across. And yeah. Higher, yeah. Has that like initial Marth bear hitbox? I don't know if we're calling it Marth bear hitbox. No, I mean like the, you know, the angle that is. Not uh, the angle. <laughs> it, like, it, it covers um, diagonally up and you know, above. Yeah, yeah. Diagonally above and in front. Oh, that was a big key. I could have just hit it back in. Oh, he's, he's getting power shield, then he's like, still eating the laser stun and trying to dash back, and he's just getting paired, because McCloud's like, got confidence in the power shield, he's just immediately floating out. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, that is so good for Calvary. Like, just catching a dash yeah, back. Yeah, I never thought about like, power shielding as Peach. You always float afterwards anyway, so even if you shield it, it's like. For like lasers, definitely. Yeah. Because like for grounded options. Well, yeah, for grounded yeah. it's different. But for like lasers, yeah, you just might have, yeah. Also, was that a zero death? Because that was pretty quick. Yeah, that's a smart move. Most features definitely go out there to try to hit him again, and you know, whether or not they hit him, it's a scary coming back. Yeah, but that's like, it was just like, yeah. It's also a lot easier to react to it, right? Because you're like, close yeah, to like worst point. case scenario, it's like, well, you're not reacting if you're going out there, right? You're that's just, yeah, you're right. covering the spot, but like, with that, it's, yeah, you take the risk out of it so much, because you can just react. Yep. Does cover the side B. That whenever you dash that creature lopes and it's always you pretty much have to expect the nair afterwards. Or like low bit Yeah yeah. Ooh, that's, that, that's rough. It's, it's yeah. like yeah. <laughs> That's ten thousand hours of Oh, I have been on that play. When you hear like, especially because like once you lose confidence and your laser is actually doing something, like it yeah. just cripples your approaches, right? Because then yeah, I guess you've seen that in Duck versus Zoo set where Duck power shifts like yeah. ninety percent of the lasers. <laughs> like Zoo is just like in neutral, going, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> like I want to shoot lasers. Okay, okay this is still very. And yeah, they went one on one last time. Oh, that was a big reverse back here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can Peach cool. react to the like roll in on that? Like if that covered everything else, could she just turn around and grab if it's a? If it's... I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 I was gonna say like surely that's a like big setup. You could probably turn around down smash that. Oh, you might not even need to turn around. Maybe. Probably, but... Well, I mean, like, if like you're that, floating, yeah. I'd assume if you're getting a float cancel, like, you gotta think. Yeah, you get yeah. Like, even with Darko's yeah, yeah. massive roll. Oh, he's just, he's just dead! <laughs> he's just dead. <laughs> he just keeps going and going and going. So I see, see that. Definitely, uh, does he hook? You could probably force the like wrong DI if you knew which way they were going. Like, that's the thing with Falco Shine is because it sends at like two angles, one of them always sends at like the you go straight up. Ah, uh, catches him out. 
He's also like McCart's catching on to Kai's um, platform antics. He's like intentionally waiting out the first um, wave land off where like Kai double jumps again. And yeah, then yeah. Both comes down again. And then, then the second time he comes down with an aerial, he's waiting and then putting out an aerial. I think his feet I'm pretty sure can probably just like aerial cover the first time and then. I mean, yeah, but if you know the second one's coming, like yeah, you might not as well. Just yeah. Punish what you know, like. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean more like put it out in case like Kai actually drop down. If he doesn't, you still have time to like punish the second one. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's quite like it. Yeah. Oh, that's. No, I thought he was gonna go for a down air, down air sort of thing, but I don't think Ghana would have actually killed Connect. him. Well, no, it I wouldn't think... have killed. I was thinking more it'd set up for like a mix up where you didn't have a down air. That would, but that's so scary. That's, that's yeah. As <laughs> you can see, it's like oh, okay, he gets out. Good deal. Well, I mean, yeah, Falco yeah. roll really. I can't imagine being fun for Peach to react to. No. Oh, oh yeah. And it just and it gets him. I should have didn't. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I was saying I was going to. Um, no, well, I, I was. I was, in, uh, you're I was about engaged. To get Thirty seconds. I was engaged. Yeah, look, or I. Are you gonna get more? Look, worst case scenario, the stage. Oh, uh, what the? Oh, never mind. All right, yeah, you. Got Why warm up time? Uh, hurry. See you, <laughs> run, man, run. These gamers, what's up in in here? Uh, yeah, so unfortunate uh, situation. What happened? Uh, the internet disconnected. Oh, okay. And well, so all the viewers are gone. Oh, okay, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, we still got the recording. It's not a big deal. Yeah, exactly. All right. It was definitely just one of those things where after <laughs> the last set, we looked over and went, "Well, that's unfortunate." Yeah, nice. And, just, and just looked over and was like, "Oh, yeah." You know, no, turns out, according to OBS, no drop frames when there's no internet. I mean, it's true. <laughs> you don't drop any. <laughs> you, drop, you drop none. <laughs> you drop zero. Oh, well, hopefully, like, I haven't got a ticket from my uh, my loading zone as well. Yeah, I, it's, it, it is what it is. I might just check that now, actually. <laughs> before we go into grants. <laughs> I gotta find out before, yeah. before we get right, Because I was gonna say, like... It sounds like there's a lot happening out there, but there probably isn't. Ready? 
it really interesting. To see, oh, McLeod just done goofed. Um, to see what McLeod's game plan is after the first set, where a lot of that happened, basically. Unfortunate that he got burnt, but he cleans up the edge guard. The musket falls through low anyway, so. Maybe that was his plan all along. A big power shield down smash, actually. Musket gets the DI. That's some I've played you before stuff right there. On the cloud, hard calling out the, like, back jump jump. Ledge with Uppy. Yeah. Catches him slipping. Border again, I guess, because he thought he couldn't get there with. Nah, doesn't matter. He takes stock. Yeah, I guess I should do it. But... Yeah, well, my God. Well, he's a loser with a council of loot. Ah. You gotta be happy with that if you're McLeod after the first set. Just hopefully if they can tap in the freebie. Ooh, that have enough support. Which I mean, I guess that just means McLeod is faster than that spot. Alright, that'll happen. This is the stock that's interesting though. Because either McLeod will like clean this up and it'll be an interesting set, or like if he drops this one. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Get Do I win? So I'd imagine we're going to stadium? Yeah. Ready? Like, particularly with Musket Ready? winning the two empty games in their last set, like, the space can only really help Musket. And with that sort of thing happening at you, being able to run away every now and then is real nice. That dragged him in. Then I assume McLeod missed some support and air stuff. Gets out of that up here, but I want to, yeah. But he gets down smash anyway, so. Takes 14. Oh, that's big. That is an unfortunate spot to be in from the cloud. And, oh, he loses a stitch as well. Oh. That might be the most I've ever seen Musket hit with a stitch. He's saying something considering how many years he played Peach. We got the two quick ones. Here. This game is snowballing out of control. Uh, gotta find something. Uh, yeah, Fox is still not falling over from that sort of hit yet. And yeah, I get to too far away now. I like the idea of that dash track, but that was way too ready for it. Yeah. I don't disagree with that from McLeod. He definitely needed to risk something no big. Survival. Yeah, this, so this didn't work out for him in the last set, so I'm curious to see what he's going to do differently. Ah, get more grabs. Good plan. Oh, I'm shocked that he missed that, but yeah, he can't jab Peach like that. Yeah, jab up smash on Peach doesn't start working until way later than you think. Or jab anything, I mean. Oh, that scooped him so well. Alright, that's the sort of spot where I think McLeod's got to realize he's on FD, just get the grab. 
but as much as Nair is almost always the better move, even if you might miss the grab, like be late on it, if they don't spot dodge, like, oh yeah, that'll happen. Yeah, if, like it's worth the risk of being late because half the time they're going to shield anyway. Musky goes for drill reset and the cloud holds up. That sounds, seems about right. Yeah, that's an unfortunate spot for McLeod. Okay, he's probably his way out of it. He's missing that one. A similar sort of percent. I don't know what's going on there. Alright. Yeah, McLeod's like dropped a couple of these. Nine. About as good as you can get for Fox and still doesn't get out. I would love a McLeod win here. So bad. I mean, yeah. Game one was pretty all McLeod. Uh, game two, McLeod SD, then Musket hit him twice with his own stitch, so. Damn. Yeah. Uh, that was a bit of a wash. This one's a lot closer, so. It's actually sick how McLeod plays right now. He's like, yeah. like there's moments where I'm just like s see him spinning at people and just flying towards them. All oh, right, just, like, like he can move. Yeah, like it's not so much the like interesting neutral that I care about. It's the like I'm in advantage. I know you want out of this. Yeah. Come over here. Let me hit you. That's really like I think if he picks up the other stuff, that's what's gonna be real scary. Uh, there's been a few spots where it just like looks like he could have gone to grab this game that he like hasn't gone for it. Right, right. Which is like fine considering how many of them he's dropped, but it isn't, like they haven't been drop drops, but stuff like that where it's just like uh he didn't get anything for it. Well, it's just sad that like there's been this much of a lead by Musket on this stage. Yeah. Because like usually you can get <laughs> you can get the space animal to give you a freebie every now and then, but yeah. Musket well, like, playing too clean. Well, yeah, and it's also like Musket knows all of Peach's tricks, right? Like, yeah. Like, let's be real. Yeah, I 100% agree with this. You're 0 for 3 on FD. Like, yeah, go, honestly, go I was going to say, stage. I didn't really think about how how well Musket would know Peach, actually. But yeah, like, it, and Musket's also the sort to know the, like, chain grab presents just in general. Yeah, yeah. So, so, like, him knowing, like, how to get out at different percents and, like, what to do, like, it makes so much sense. Yeah, I feel like he's not going to, like, blow any techs when he really doesn't, like, <laughs> yeah, like, need to. Like, he's, and he's also not going to do the, like, dumb, oh, I'm going to tech roll back in when Peach is waiting for it. He's like, no, yeah, I'm going okay. to make it hard. Damn. Oh. oh yeah, great you got recovery. There. Yeah, a bit of a like stutter from the crowd, and another like misplay there, air dodging when Musket was actually in recovery. Yeah, just things like that. Uh, I think McLeod is trying to take this a bit too, you know, one too many steps in advance, and he just needs to play the moment a bit more, the moment to moment gameplay. Because yeah. I think he can win that. I think he just needs to get Musket in this spot uh, where um, McLeod can actually just rely on his really good reactions. Yeah, there's a bit of that, and there's a bit of, like, he's not putting out the right moves at the right times. Like, there's been a few forward airs where I'm just like, I'm pretty sure Nair hits there and, like, doesn't go catastrophically wrong if <laughs> he doesn't. Oh, yes. Fod finally yeah, giving... Get him with the Will D. <laughs> will D, Will D, Will D. Oh, I should. Oh, that kills, yeah. But... Like, sometimes you think FD... <laughs> <laughs> that, that would actually be gold like. Nice boxing. You know Musket was going for a big punish there. It was the platform saved McLeod a little bit. Damn, McLeod's having to work really hard in the air right now. Musket is just moving around his head like over and over again. Uh, big get him attack. Uh, so he's gotten burned a couple times today going for down air, so I think he's leaned back a little bit there. Uh, oh, oh, I thought he, he had that. No, here's the thing. That was ambiguous as hell from Musket. That honestly looked like yeah, he oh, could yeah, have yeah. grabbed or gone up the stage. Yeah. 
And like if McLeod had slightly more time, he would have grabbed ledge, press A, and covered everything. But like, yeah. So he just wanted to back up. Yeah. I feel like if he went to stage, he would have got actually hit. Oh, another oh. one. Okay. Fair. Oh, you just I mean, yeah. Just, yeah. Like I, I don't getting down that. makes a lot more. Yeah, I don't mind that because it gave him the top platform, but he didn't even go go to it. Oh, that was another freebie opportunity. He's picking some up with the dash attack though, and got him in the corner. This shield is going to take all this pressure. Okay, yeah. Uh... It's spots like that where I'm like, okay, yeah, Musket oh! has played on a peach. So quick on that one, Musket. It's going to try and take this one out now before McLeod gets his screw on. Oh yeah. Uh... Just that up is ridiculous when you angle it like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What does Peach do? Nair. Nair is the answer. Uh, like, oh, like here we as go. much as, so the the mix-up game there is if they go for down air and you try to tech it, you just air dodge. Uh -huh. And if they go for Nair and they um, don't tech it, they die. Right. Damn. Oh, okay, yeah. a call out actually. Yeah. What's so good about that forward air is actually like hits on the way back. Like on the way yeah, back yeah, into yeah. Peach's hurt box. So it covers everything in front of her. So. And then like that little spot below. Underneath the dress. Alright, we're going Yoshi's. This could be interesting. Yeah, this could be the start of something potentially beautiful. Or it could dash our hopes and dreams from a cloud in grants. Oh, there's an air. It wouldn't that could have been everything. Wouldn't be the first time Musket said I've seen the second set of grand finals. <laughs> Oh, oh that spot was just so yeah, smart. Nice. McLeod's gotten good RNG today, actually. He's actually had a pretty good seed, like, for the RNG. <laughs> the numbers are on his side. He's been getting, like, good F smashes and good turnip pulls. Yeah, I always forget that they're not just in a rotation or something. Forward smashes are genuinely like. Yeah, I got shield poked by the golf club on the Yoshi side player in my set, and I'm like, well, what can you do? Yeah. <laughs> what can you do? Oh. See, that ledge from Yoshi actually fucked oh, up. Big front Oh! He did the um, jab walk forward jab at the end there as well. McLeod's pressure game is so nice right now. Uh, but Musket's actually taken to the skies a bit more, so he's not going to get locked down as much. He goes into the corner anyway! Oh. I don't know if this is the play, buddy boy, but yeah. it doesn't matter. I'm fucked, baby. Yeah, Musket, like, didn't realize he had Randall's and immediately went for the up B. But, fucks out. Anyway, yeah. Musket actually rolled into that grab. Ooh. Nice power shield down smash! Really clean one, actually. This actually could easily go to McLeod. Musket hasn't yet been He's got to keep it up, though, is the yeah. thing. Cause, like, you know, Musket's now, like, what, two shots and an up smash away from it being an even game. Mm. Like, yeah, here we go now. This is everything right now. Up air, gonna take it. That's said he got a lot more damage on McLeod than I thought he was there. Like, uh, Musket's already at 75, like... He's starting to meet him in the air a bit more now. He's going for these um, really early uh, nares in a full hop. So, but, uh, McLeod's trying to approach in the air, and he's just getting stuffed every time. Just because of how uh, quick old Foxy McLeod is. Ah! Uh, that's a nifty It's one. happening! We're gonna go to a set two! Oh, Phantom. Oh, no! Phantom. <laughs> oh, no! Come on, guys. Oh, wow, I can't believe how even this game is now. After, like, just two stocks ago, I was like, McLeod's got this in the bag. No, you <gasps> can't count much. Let's oh, get out. No. Uh, if he like, gets another up throw, there's the grab. Uh, big up in. Oh, oh, that, that was such a good. Oh, oh, wiggle out. So oh. sick. Oh, no way it. that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fucking god. Damn. That was fucked up. He hit the power shoot and then ran forward. I have smashed. Oh, sorry. I've smashed him. Yeah. Fucked up if true, but right. good shit. Um, yeah, hop off. It's all good. Let's get studio, guys. Fucking ran the tournament, cleaned up the house. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> Alright. Well, I may as well start packing up the stream. 
get out of here at a reasonable time. <laughs> we, didn't, we don't need to hear evac interviews, guys. Um, as always, if you're looking to get in contact and get in touch with the South Australian Smash scene, you can hit up all these socials and me on Twitter. I always tweet when we go live. The VODs will be up on the SA Smash TV YouTube channel as well, everyone. So um, I'll be cutting those up in the next... Uh, I'll be cutting those up in this month after I've uploaded the Ultimate Cheese League VODs, which will be coming up this week, actually. I, I, got, I let those get a week behind, unfortunately. Um, but they'll be coming. The full broadcast VOD of this will also be up on YouTube tonight as well if you want to watch that. If you, if you don't want to have to watch it on Twitch... It's the best place to go. Um, check us a follow if you haven't already. It really helps us out. really lets us know that you want to keep watching our stuff. And um, until next time, it's been Kaiser. With another evac in the books. Thanks for watching, everyone. Love you all. I'm going to find someone to host before I go as well. Um, we'll hit up. You know who we will hit up? We will hit up. Yab Saab from Canberra. They're streaming a Pokemon tier list ranking stream right now. Would mean a lot if you go send us some love. I'm out, everyone. It's been real. Until next time, follow me on Twitter, KP Kaiser, when we go live next. All right. Peace out, everyone. Bye.